All right, all right, all right! <laughs> hey everybody, welcome back to another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. If you're new here, thank you for joining us. My name is Greg Sykes, and just thank you so much for stumbling across this channel and... If you don't mind, maybe consider subscribing to this channel. I'll try to put out content on a daily basis. With that said, let's get into today's video. Let's continue on with this whole ownership change thing because I'm just so excited about this. Matthew McConaughey! <laughs> I'm annoying, I know. Now he is throwing his hat in the ring and wants to join Jeff Bezos and Jay-Z in the bid for the ownership rights for the Washington Commanders. Yep. According to the New York Post, the Bezos-Jay-Z bid for the Washington Commanders could come sometime in January, and with it, possibly Matthew McConaughey. Now, McConaughey has been a longtime fan of the Washington football franchise, he is also close friends of Daniel Snyder. Uh, I kind of find that a little disturbing, but, yeah. You know, Matthew spent some time with the Snyders, parting up, living it up on the Snyder's yacht. So, to me, I don't know, it, it seems a, a little bit odd that Matthew McConaughey, not that he would want to own a bit of the Washington Commanders, but that he would join Jeff Bezos, you know, because Snyder, he he does not like Jeff Bezos. Obviously because Jeff Bezos owns the Washington Post, and the Post has really just torn into Daniel Snyder ever since basically day one of Daniel Snyder's ownership. So there is no love loss between the two. Um, now, another possibility... Another big star-studded celebrity name other than Matthew McConaughey that could join this group to bid for the Washington Commanders is NBA star Kevin Durant. Now, Kevin Durant, who is also a w big, long-time Washington fan as well. Now, he is not quite as a sure thing and, you know, McConaughey may not be such a sure thing as well. But, you know, Kevin Durant, he definitely would like to own a little bit of the team. You know, he's a fan. Uh, you know, but what about guys like Dell Jr.? You know, I, I just, I don't know. I mean, I think if you're going to start rolling out the red carpet for all of these celebrities, you might as well put Dell Jr. in the mix somewhere as well and then have this whole celebrity-owned franchise. I, I mean, it could happen. I don't know. I, I still think Bezos and, and Jay-Z, just on their own, they're the two most interesting individuals to bid for this franchise. And, of course, you know, nothing is set in stone, but I'm sure Snyder would feel that he probably, if he's going to get $7 billion, his, you know, his asking price from anybody, and I think he possibly can, He's probably going to ask for $8 billion from Jeff Bezos. And Bezos is, you know, he's going to get it. He's probably going to wind up giving it to him. Now, in the coming weeks, of course, you know, we're going to hear more per prospective owners coming out of the woodwork, announcing their interest in the team. But, you know, in the end, Commanders fans, they only want two things, right? Number one, they want Dan Snyder out. And they want a good owner in, right? Well, okay. There's three things that Washington Commanders fans want. Um, a lot of them want another rebranding because many feel that the rebranding was terribly botched. And, you know, quite frankly, the majority of Washington fans just really didn't like the, the branding. I mean, you know... Most are, are indifferent, and most have, you know, most have said that if they start winning, I don't care what they're named. 
well, you know, if they've been winning this whole time, they probably wouldn't have really worried so much about Redskins, but I digress. Anyway. Yeah, you know, like I said, I'm not sure how I feel about all these celebrities wanting to grab a piece of the franchise, you know, which is basically, to me, it's bragging rights, because they're not going to really have any controlling decisions within the franchise. It's basically every now and then when their busy schedules allow them to they're going to be in the owner's booth with their sunglasses on you know sipping on their champagne and all this stuff and you know it's just going to be their name tied to it for publicity's sake i mean that's really all it is i don't know i think guys like dale earnhardt jr to me i think it probably means more to somebody like that but i could be totally wrong could be totally wrong i mean matthew mcconaughey has come out and said that he has been a long-time Redskins fan ever since he was little. So, you know, just because he's a celebrity is, doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, what he is doing is just to, to grab some spotlight. So I'm, I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt. But, you know, honestly, I just want an, one owner. I really just want one owner, honestly, who owns the whole team outright. Um because I really I really want that owner to be somebody who knows how to run a sports franchise. You know, I, I don't know about this whole, you know, celebrity ownership because in the end, they don't know how to run a sports franchise. I know that Bezos, Bezos, <laughs> Bezos, Be- Jeff Bezos, <laughs> oh God, um, I know that, he, he obviously he has been very successful with Amazon, but sports franchises are totally different. And I really want somebody to own the Washington Commanders or whoever they're going to be called in the future. Maybe they'll continue to be called the Commanders, but I want them to be owned by an owner who knows how to run a sports franchise. And maybe that guy is this Josh Harris. You know, he, he has owned sports franchises. He, he wanted to bid uh, for the Denver Broncos. I think he's going to be in the mix. Before you know it, there's going to be others who are going to be in the mix. Um, so, you know, when it comes down to it, maybe the right owner, who knows? Maybe the right owner is not Jeff Bezos after all. Hey, you stayed until the very end. Thank you so much. Watch another one right now.